What are the most common mm-hmm. questions you get about COVID-19 vaccine? One of the key questions is the side effects of the vaccine, because parents do not want to see their kids suffer. They don't want to see them in pain. What we have seen over and over again is that these vaccines are safe, they're effective. You're much better off getting vaccinated than uh, not getting vaccinated. How do you reassure patients who are hesitant about the COVID-19 vaccine? The vaccine is safe and effective that some people may may become sick even if they get vaccinated, but it will be a mild infection. If you were to get COVID-19 and you're not vaccinated, the ramifications of that can be quite serious. Including the prolonged COVID, you know, the long COVID that we talk about in which 30% of the people have this lingering symptoms uh, throughout their life. You know, that foggy brain, that inability to concentrate, that weakness, Um, All those things that you as an individual do not want to have in your life. Can the COVID-19 vaccine affect my child's genes? It's a very good question. It shows that you're thinking about your kids and their well-being. So I I really appreciate that question. Uh, But the answer is absolutely not. The COVID-19 vaccines have no way of interacting with your genetic material. So they cannot, cannot change your DNA. They cannot change your genes. So that's something that we've tried to reassure parents. That's something that we've tried to reassure kids as we've engaged them, um, as they've asked questions. Um, So uh, get vaccinated because your genetic material is safe, your DNA is safe. It will not be affected by these vaccines. What does mRNA mean? mRNA stands for messenger ribonucleic acid. This goes back to this issue of can these vaccines um, uh, change my DNA? So the answer is absolutely not. Our DNA is contained in the nucleus. The RNA, all the RNA is playing around in the cytoplasm of the cell. Messenger RNA that you get from this uh, uh, vaccine cannot enter, does not enter into your nucleus. There's no way it can ever interact with your DNA. There's no way it can ever change your DNA. And I think in simpler terms, we can say that the messenger RNA is the component of the vaccine that carries a message that shows or teaches your cells how to create antibodies that will protect you against COVID-19. I like having this guy on the stage. What side effects should I look out for after I vaccinate my five-year-old? So the side effects are the same as what you'd see in an adult. For the most part, most kids don't experience any side effects at all. Uh, The most that they will experience, if they do experience anything, soreness at the site of injection, which is very common. Um, They may get a little fatigued, meaning that a little tired. Um, They may get chills, and really, they may get a fever. I think, you know, the people that I've talked to, especially when I've gone to schools to talk to them about side effects, the kids usually talk about side effects as being tired and wanting to go to bed and just not wanting to do anything more than play video games. And and, and that's really, you know, so sure, good enough, you know, go home, rest, play video games, and then the next day you'll feel just brand new, feel much better. How do we know that vaccines are safe? What research has been done on safety? Good question, because I think a lot of people initially, especially initially when vaccines came out, were concerned about the safety of vaccines. I think we need to remind people that throughout the United States and the world, for at least one company, over 40,000 individuals were vaccinated to determine One, side effects to the vaccine. Two, how protected the vaccine and effective the vaccine was. Key factors in developing a vaccine and obviously followed by many scientific studies trying to find out how much protection was there. 40,000 people in the United States, in South America and Central America and in Europe provided that information by getting vaccinated before the vaccine came out in the market. That's how we find out if the vaccine is safe and effective and will protect you against COVID-19. That's beautiful that you bring up the statistics, Emilio, because uh, you're speaking to is the Pfizer vaccine, right? Pfizer had 40, 
a little over 40,000 people that participated in the trials. And then Moderna had a little over 30,000 people participate in their trials. And then that's just the adult population. Uh, in the pediatric population, we've had thousands of kids, tens of thousands of kids who participated in trials to ensure that we have safe and effective vaccines. There are millions of people, actually billions of people who've gotten them the world over, gotten these vaccines the world over, and we have enough data from the last 15 months where we've been vaccinating people. Actually, the last 18 months we've been vaccinating people and know that these vaccines uh, don't have uh, long-term side effects. I keep hearing about Delta and Omicron. Can you explain what, what a variant is? So a variant is a change or a mutation that has happened with the original virus. What we've seen uh, throughout this pandemic is that we've seen at least three variants that have affected us. Initially, we saw Alpha, then we followed Delta during the summer and fall, and during the winter, we saw Omicron. We will continue to see uh, variants or mutations throughout until people get vaccinated and there's lesser likelihood of, of this virus mutating or changing. That's, that's perfect right there. Um, so variants come about from uh, the virus trying to change to its uh, environment and its goal is not to kill us. Its goal is to, to infect as many people as possible and to replicate as much as possible. It's a survival mechanism, just like how we're trying to survive, right? Mm. The higher the number of people were, in, were vaccinated, the lower the likelihood that this occurs. The best way to, to prevent this, uh, to prevent new variants mm. from coming about, is getting vaccinated. Omicron doesn't seem to be as dangerous why should my kid get the vaccine? So that is very true that Omicron has not been as uh, lethal uh, as the Delta variant, even though Omicron has been significantly more transmissible than the Delta variant. What has resulted is that we've seen significantly more people get infected, and as significantly more people get infected, significantly more people get sick, significantly more, more people end up in the hospital, and unfortunately, significant more people die from this. So we saw an explosion in the pediatric cases due to the Omicron surge. That is why it's important to have your little ones vaccinated. Need to remind the population that yes, most likely it was less severe in a lot of people, but many, many more people got infected and potentially many more people died of the disease as well. Seeing a whole lot more cases in the hospital uh, means that we're stretching our, our healthcare infrastructure. Someone who goes to the ER with a heart attack, with a stroke, pneumonia, you name it, their, their care is de delayed and adversely affected due to the healthcare infrastructure being, being stretched and um, being overburdened by COVID-19 cases in the hospital. The vaccine is safe and effective. The vaccine will protect you against hospitalization and death that some people may become sick even if they get vaccinated, but it will be a mild infection. And the key here is to make sure that you get protected and you get vaccinated to minimize that impact in hospitals. Go to safestrongoregon.org to hear doctors answer your questions about COVID vaccines.